There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, Divas? What's up, Divo? Y'all already know what time it is. Yes, you guys, this is another collaboration with Eunice Wigs. Eunice Hair, they are really affordable. Girl, you can get you a nice little wig by then, you know what I'm saying? Look cute on a budget. Most of the time, y'all always see me sitting down. Y'all don't even really know what I have on, girl. I be having on some pajamas, some sweatpants, some shorts. It always has to look good, just like this portion. My shirt might be too small. My might be cropped you just you know what i'm saying belly all out y'all don't even know i'm gonna try to put an outfit together you know i don't really you know do the trendy thing but a girl like to hold on to clothing because i'm just kind of basic and i just feel like with me being basic i can just pair different things My together and so I with that being said we're gonna just jump into this video featuring unice hair now this time around they sent me their curly edge natural edge kinky straight lace front now for one when the wig came to me i did have to bleach it and i was kind of like scared like okay i don't really want to bleach the edges too much because i don't want any of the curliness to come off you know i don't want any hair to fall out this is her after she's been um styled i didn't have to pre-pluck her the hair seemed a little bit thinner around the top um, portion right here i felt like did it fall out there was a couple of, um there was a little bit of shedding um i did not over bleach it i didn't even keep it on for too long so there are a little bit of specklings sometimes i just try to be really mindful when it comes to the bleach and i did flat iron her and style her i wanted to do this one straight so for the sake of the video girl let's just get into it and at the very end i will definitely show you the outfit that i chose to rock with this wig girl so let's just get into this okay yeah I'm tongue-tied, twisted around your finger like a piece of string. I'm winded, chasing after your ghost is real exhausting. I'm in love, but I don't think it's what I thought it was supposed to be. Love story, no guts and no glory. How did I get so dizzy thinking of you? I don't usually get like this. Something about you I miss Could it be we never had that kiss? Well, I don't usually get like this Get like, get like this Get like this Get like All right, all right, all right, you guys. So excuse my voice, I am a little under the weather, but let's just do this tutorial. So first, you know, you definitely wanna start out with a clean hairline, girl. Make sure your head is clean, so that way your wig will stick down. You don't want any type of foundation on your lace. Doesn't look that great, okay? So I just use a baby wipe to make sure that all my foundation, sweat, dirt, whatever is off of the area that I'm going to be adhering down. Now, mind you guys, I forgot to mention this in the beginning, but this wig is actually from Amazon. This is Unice or Unice on Amazon. I get lots of their wigs from Amazon. And for it to be an Amazon lace front wig, girl, the quality is right. The price is good. You know what I say about Amazon. Amazon Prime, get your shit on time, okay? And plus, with Amazon, if you don't really like it, you can easily send it back to Amazon and they will refund you your money. So let me tell y'all, this is actually the first first kinky edge wig that i put on or reviewed i didn't put it in that order so you've probably seen like two or three prior to this one but this was actually the first kinky curly edge lace front wig that i reviewed now mind you when i got this i was so scared i was scared girl because the edges i didn't know if i should pluck it if i should bleach it i didn't really know how to you know proceed onwards so you know i just took my time and i did decide to just tweeze a tad bit not a lot i just didn't want that straight blunt 
edge look across. Now, as I reviewed these after this wig, I realized that each company has their own, you know, determination of how thick the edges should be. Um, I have gotten some that are a lot thicker around the hairline opposed to this one. So each one brings me something totally different. And after like this one, the first one, I was kind of used to it. Now with your nice hair, their edges are not as thick around the hairline, which can probably be a good thing or a bad thing. It just depends on the person. Now for me, I thought this was a comfortable, you know, density. Had I known versus the other ones, I might have liked it a little bit thicker only because the one good thing about these curly thick edge lace fronts is you really don't have to pluck much okay you can actually brush those extra hairs that you don't want to use up into the lace front and you'll be good to go okay so you're definitely going to go and check amazon i will leave all of their units their information in the description box below for you girls or guys whoever wants to check them out but i thought this was really affordable and i did state in the video that it's a 22 inch my bad this is actually a 24 inch lace front now girl let me tell y'all i bleached it because it didn't come bleached y'all know you get what you pay for so if you're paying for a lace front wig that is in the threshold of like a hundred dollars two hundred dollars you're gonna have to find yourself bleaching and pre-plucking the hairline you know you gotta pay to make it slay so if you do know about pre-plucking bleaching and customization of a lace front then i would definitely say go for this one this one was really easy though to customize it wasn't a lot of hair and it just really depends on how you want the front to look now like i said this was the very first one that i ever reviewed even though you didn't see this one go up versus the other ones this one here was the first one and I was kind of on the fence I do like to use my Aussie instant freeze hairspray girl that stuff were good okay for four dollars a can you cannot beat that but I did have to use my blow dryer in this now y'all know I always tell y'all to make sure that the hairspray is tacky prior to spraying on another layer if you want to do two to three layers it's just based on you but you want to make sure that you allow the hairspray to get tacky prior to spraying on another coat now y'all know how I feel about this hair foam right here by Mark Anthony. It's my favorite. Girl, I use it all the time. Even if the hair is not curly, I'm using this because it just has a really great hold to it. Now as y'all see, I didn't know what to do right here. I was kind of confused like should I swoop them? Should I, what should I do? Okay. And I wasn't really a huge fan of the way I cut the lace, but I'm going to make it do what it do. Okay. I'm going to do it like it's my B-day every day okay but as far as the lace goes it's very meltable they did a great job on they come up they you know as time goes these wig companies do better the lace and i appreciate that because girl when you get a wig that you don't have to do anything with i do believe you get spoiled now i was a little bit confused with the baby hair so i just went ahead and put on my elastic band and i said girl just style this wig now as you guys see in the parting area, there are a few little bit of speckles of, you know, darkness because I didn't want to go overboard on the bleach. I did not want any of this hair to fall out. I was kind of scared about the baby hairs in the front. I did not want them falling out. So I said, let me just be a little light handed with the bleach. I did have to bleach it twice, but look, better safe than sorry. And just to make the lace look a little bit more flesh tone, I just used some of my Ardell concealer, which girl, I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Best concealer I've ever picked up from the Dollar Tree, okay? And then I just went ahead and brushed it in. So 24 inches, this lace front is definitely hitting for 24 inches. And in my experience with this particular lace wig, not with the other ones, I felt like I really wanted to trim away the kinky edges, but I said, no, April, that is the defeating of the, the purpose of this wig review, okay? So as you guys see on the side here, I was trying to get my little sideburns to go down. You know, I didn't really want to tamper too much with the lace wig, but I'm gonna be saying this right now. My makeup in this video is definitely looking flawless. 
you know what? I am not a makeup artist. So some days I get it good. And some days I don't. I'm not really understanding. But you know what? It is what it is. It's life. You just got to deal with it. Be happy. Stay positive, And do what it do. Now as you guys see right there in the hairline area. It's a little sparse where I was pointing to. The hairs are a little bit sparse. But you know what? We're just going to make it do what it do. Some days you want it thicker than others. But for me, I'm just going to rock this out. I do like, though, the way the hair came out bone straight. It did a really great job with this unit. And I give them a kudos on this. All right, you guys, so listen, this came out pretty decent, okay? However, in my opinion, this is my opinion, okay? Because I am entitled to it. I think for me, like, the hairline, I just feel like it's just like a longer hairline. You know, like, I do feel like the area could have been a little bit more thicker up in this portion. I'm not sure what happened in this area, but it was just a little bit too through for me if that's the right word but you know for the most part i just tried to work it out as natural as i would wear it some of them are a lot thicker in the actual hairline portion i'm not really sure how i feel about that like some of them i've seen that are super duper thick and i guess it all depends on how you want to wear it but i don't want them to be so thick but i don't want them to be so thin just kind of like in between you know what i'm saying and this was almost there but i was kind of like on the fence kind of like scared like oh my god i want to cut this lace off right here so that way it doesn't look like it's straight across and maybe i should have did that i'm just gonna do that let's see let's see so there i didn't want it so thick and bushy in the front especially where my hairline is at like that's not the look that i was going for but definitely for the sides like this is neat and cool for the sides like this right here is what i'm talking about like you can just tame it the best that you can the way that you want it what however it was kind of thin to me in some spots but then for the most part as it was on the sides it was thicker which i guess that counts the most because i don't really want it super duper thick up here now look girl i did my best please don't criticize me okay but the hair texture is lovely now i did use a flat iron and it didn't make it bone straight i did have some texture still in the unit so now it kind of reminds me of a really nice blowout or not even a blowout maybe like a silk press kind of almost can resemble a yakky texture here but the hair texture is bomb girl okay and so is the density the length is deep it's a 22 inch baby so do it like it's your be day baby okay now and i like the way i slicked it down like i was going for a straight look you know what i'm saying this hair is long i really didn't want to put too much heat to it because i love kinky straight hair i love when you can flat iron it and girl i love when you can make it your own do it like it's your be day baby do it like you've grown a sex day baby it was an amazing collaboration i love to see you know like websites just like switch it up use and do different things you know what i'm saying it's an affordable unit girl do what you do make it slay make it lay you know what i'm saying all that good stuff in between you know what i'm saying that's what you do do it like it's your be day baby do you like your grown a sex day baby now we're gonna try on an outfit hopefully i slay that like i said don't be judgeful because like i stated i did gain quite a few pounds okay but i still listen here's the key you gotta learn to love yourself and be who you are okay and if don't nobody like you for who you are then guess what then they really don't care for you they really don't like you and that's not on the negative but they gotta like you for who you really are you know what i'm saying it is what it is so that's why when i come on here i'll just be my true self because if you don't like me then i don't know what to tell you but see you when i see ya but on that note i will definitely leave all of the unique information down below in the description box we're gonna try on an outfit real quick see how it do do it like it's my bidet baby do it like i'm grown and sexy baby do it like i'm grown and sexy